Yeah, so just by looking at the size of these images, they say JPEG though, but um, I'm not sure that they're JPEG because down here you can see the size, 3.6 megabytes. So it's pretty strange for a JPEG file. Uh, so this is a file that would not be JPEG maybe. Uh, the other one would be 1.9 and then the last one's going to be 1.6. And as you can see, the image is pretty, pretty white. There should not be that size for sure. So I have opened them up in Photoshop here. Uh, let me just minimize this so we can see it better like that. I'm just going to bring this like right there. So, so that size. Uh, let me make it even shorter. So I would actually do a couple of things on these images. Uh, I would crop them for sure. This one. There's no need to have that space, um, white space before or after the image. And then I'm going to go uh, Control Shift I and look at that size. That's gigantic. This is gigantic. Uh, web images should be 72 pixels. And then, uh, sorry, 72 DPI. This is the DPI. And this 606, that's now, this is now decent. So I will resize it with that and zoom in because now it got really tiny. Uh, perfect. So this is fine. And then the last step is that you go to the menu uh, file, save for web. You might not see that on my screen though. Let me see if I can just drag this thing over to the side. Oh yeah, that I can't. Uh, but anyway, you go save for web on the file menu. And now this is going to open uh, another interface. And Photoshop has a pretty cool setting that you can just go up here and then you go and it says JPEG low. And that's a good size, you know, low would be okay for this image, you can go high. The idea is that now on the other corner you see the size, so it's perfect. 6.9 instead of, you know, 3 megabytes. Um, yeah, and then, uh, you know, the last thing you just uh, click on the save button, that I'm not sure if you can see it on this screen. Uh, but you click on save, and now you Gonna rename the file once it opens. So sketch, just gonna go to that same test. So this is sketch number two. I'm just gonna rename that as well. So you see, I'm just gonna rename that uh, uh, with a proper name. So this is sketch two, and let's say this is now, you know, like real JPEG. JPEG like that. Yeah, it's just for us to know. So I'll do the same for the other ones. This is again really huge. Same same process. I'm zooming out, then pressing the uh, Control uh, C for crop. Uh, there's no need to have all this white space. Yeah, really, there's no need for that uh, on the other side. And then Control Shift I on the keyboard brings up the image size interface. And again, you can, you can see that this one has the same issue. So 72. And as soon as I do that, see what happens up here. 72. This one went all the way down to 336. So for 161 megabytes, it went down to 600K. Pretty huge. Zoom in now, and then go File, Save for Web. Now you have this thing. It has the settings now for JPEG Low. You can see on the corner 8.4K. Yeah, same process. You hit Save. And this is going to be Sketch 1. So I'm just going to go do this for now. So I can select that and then Sketch 1, Real JPEG. Um, yeah, you can close that now. Don't save it. There's no need. And then I'll do the last one. So I'm going to not save this. Okay, zoom out. Crop. Just look at the size that we need right there. Control Shift I for the image size. 
and again this one goes down to 72 pretty small good size right here click OK zoom in and then go file save for web same settings JPEG low up here that's all we need to know this is the result save and this is going to be sketch 3 so I'll just rename sketch 3 so now that we have that I'm going to hide Photoshop and I'll go into the uh, canvas here okay so now what's happening is that on the desktop it is broken because it is not recognizing that image uh, but now I have the the new ones down here the new, the real sketches right there so I'm just gonna go and uh, drag one by one into that and we should be able to see them so I'm just gonna drag one right there converting and you can see like right away the image is there no issues so I'll do now number two and number three oops let me move this thing over number three yeah there you are so three images perfect so now the teacher should be able to see them so with this now you know that even though the image has a JPEG file or extension this is not uh, properly converted so uh, if you see something like that size that's uh, an immediate um, hint uh, the reason that this is happening is also because these images are scans from a paper uh, so the scanner that you're using it's giving you all this 1200 dpi which is completely use useless for the web and then uh, you gotta crop it and you gotta convert that into a 72 dpi and then you save it as jpeg for the web and that's it happy concert parting